Hey guys, it's TJ and welcome back to another Call of Duty story video. Today, I'm gonna be telling the story of this time that me and my friends pulled a prank at our school where basically we got like fake beer and yeah, so let's get right into it. All right, so it all started a normal day at school. Uh, this was last year, me and my friends were all chilling and I don't know what happened, but we used to be like these huge troublemakers, not like we were constantly like bullying, nothing like that, but we were just mischievous, you know, like sneaking around, doing pranks, stuff like that. We never like bullied anyone. We weren't getting in trouble for like being jerks, nothing like that. It was more like being mischievous, messing around, having like just stuff like that, you know? So yeah, we were just at lunch, me and my group of friends. We used to have like this big group of friends. It was really cool. Maybe I'll tell a story more about it uh, in the future. I don't really know, but um, yeah, we just kind of had this group of friends. We all sat next to each other. You know, just the typical stuff in school, you know, where friends all hang out near each other. And my one friend who brought home lunch every single day, uh, who also, uh, sneak peek, uh, if you know who The Amazing Cardboard is in one of my previous videos, he played The Amazing Cardboard. If you don't know who that is, you should look it up. It's a pretty great movie. And he pulled this beer bottle out of his lunchbox. Well, at least that's what we thought at first, but it was actually just apple beer. And if you don't know what that is, it's like, it's like, kind of like apple cider, but it's in like a beer bottle and it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, so it looks like a beer bottle. It just, you would think it was beer if you didn't see the apple beer logo on it. You know, the apple beer label. And that's exactly what I told him too. I was like, dude, I thought that was beer for a second. And then I saw that it said apple beer on it. And then he was like, oh, he just had like this big like, realization moment like oh my gosh like he literally looked like that surprised emoji and i was like what and he's like dude we could do like a prank and i was like oh my gosh like it was like instant but we knew what was up and so uh yeah most of us participated uh, i think the one guy who i said got rejected in one of my previous stories um i forgot what i called his name it was like jim or something but yeah him, uh, he chickened out of it, I'm pretty sure. The lunchroom and the bathroom are like right across the hallway from each other. So we just walked out of the lunchroom and into the bathroom. So then we walked in there, filled it up with like soap, hand sanitizer, and some water. We were like, hand sanitizer has, you know, some uh, alcohol in it, so maybe it'll make it more believable. So we just put that in, watered it down, and we're like, dude, that actually kind of looks like beer. Like, it, you know, it just looked like liquid in there, and it was kind of frothy at the top. So we were like, dude, that's, we did a pretty good job of that. <laughs> so yeah, and then... We were like, all right, so here's the plan. We're going to walk out there all nonchalantly, try not to get noticed, just be all casual, hide the bottle, walk over, put it in the elevator, send the elevator up. Then, you know, you just wait, see what happens, see if someone finds it, stuff like that. And so, you know, everyone is at recess. We were just chilling, walking around. We were being all like covert. We were all just like walking, trying to be all casual. Um, some of us aren't very good at being casual. And uh, an unnamed, you know, one or two people in our group Patrick and an unnamed person kept like looking around all suspiciously. They were like, oh, 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 like they were like looking around like every direction. They were looking left, right, stuff like that. And me and the other guy just walked like calmly. He had like the bottle by his side, like really close and his arm was covering it. So you couldn't really tell that it was there. It was like kind of under his shirt and then his arm was like holding it in place. And it was actually a pretty good job of hiding it. It was, it was pretty good. And so yeah, we walked over to the elevator. Luckily it was already on the ground floor. So we just walked over, pressed the button. It opened, we put it in. And then we clicked second floor because I just have a two-story school. And then we walked out. And then we kind of just chilled by the lunchroom, like by the drinking fountain. Because there was a drinking fountain where you could see to the elevators. You could just see what was going on. So we were just chilling. And um, and we knew that the elevator, after, you know, like probably five minutes or so, automatically went down to the first floor. So we were like, okay, in a certain amount of time, it'll come down to the bottom floor. And we can see if the fake apple beer bottle is still in there. So little did we know it came down not that like not that much later. It came down about three minutes after us just chilling by the drinking fountain, kind of waiting, trying to act casual. And the janitors all walked out of the elevator. It was the janitors just came out of the elevator, and we were like, we all looked at each other like, oh my gosh, like they found it, and they started walking around the school like looking around. They were like, because they had the beer bottle, obviously they found it. And once they left, we like quickly looked to see if the beer bottle was still there, and it wasn't. It was gone. So the janitors had gotten in the elevator, probably seen it, then went down to the bottom floor and started pushing, you know, their trash can and their, like, other cart thing that they push around with all their janitor supplies and stuff. And they were, like, looking around and stuff. And we were like, oh, my gosh, dude, they found it. And they're, like, on the prowl for anyone who could have done it. They were, like, looking around. And I was like, maybe they, like, tasted it and realized it wasn't beer. I don't know what's going on. But they didn't say anything. It's not like there was an announcement. There was no, you know, searching of our lockers. It was nothing like that. It was literally they. we just saw the janitors walk off. We didn't see the bottle at all. We literally just saw the janitors, like, walk away. They didn't mention anything about it. They didn't 
talk to us about it. They didn't, nothing. They didn't even look at us suspiciously. They just kept walking. We were like, oh my gosh, dude. Oh. Like, because that was scary. We were like, dude. We were like, oh my gosh, dude. They found the beer bottle. And we were like, wondering if there was going to be an announcement, if they were going to start searching our lockers. Nothing like that happened. But it was a really cool story. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed And I'll see you all next time. Back, back, back from the dead.